Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today with a flip. I haven't done a flip in a long time. Well, not this kind of flip. Um, and I thought now was a good time to do it because we're in the year 2020 now and out with the old and in with the new and this is the last of the old, I think. During, I think, mid-December, I was watching a lot of videos that popped up in my suggested box and in, on YouTube, and I kept seeing a lot of people that were doing December Daily, people were doing Christmas Journal, Christmas Junk Journals. So I quietly did this without telling anybody until after it was finished or had like three or four pages left to put in it that I was doing this because this is not <laughs> in my realm. Okay, so don't faint. It's a Christmas Junk Journal. Um, I did, I was doing some coffee dyeing of what I thought was white cardstock, and as it turned out, it was cardstock, but not the cardstock we think about. It was, uh, cardstock that you could rip to make a card that goes this way, or, you know, and I couldn't use that for what I wanted, because if I was going to sew it together, it would rip apart, because it was pre-creased, or, you know, pre-rippable. So I took those halves and found myself a little book, um, you know, with some leftover food cardboard thing. And I made myself a little miniature Christmas junk journal. I have a 12 by 12, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, those uh, plastic boxes that go in the rolling carts. I have one of those and one of them is labeled Christmas. So I take all my Christmas images and because I didn't want them in my everyday stuff, I'm already picking through a lot of stuff this is and I don't want Christmas images in there. So I drug all the Christmas images out, put them into the one box, put the little doodads and Christmas thingies all in that box, my washi tape. Okay, so it fits in one 12 by 12 box. You know there's not a lot there, but it's just enough that I find it annoying. So this year I thought, well, let me set it out and it'll remind me to use it up. And sure enough, this year it worked. All right, so here it is. They're coffee dyed paper, just an image. And these are fabric sticky tape type things. And this is another fabric sticky thing. And this is a plastic snowflake. I spared no expense. <laughs> oh yeah, there are three signatures. And they are kind of fat. Although... Considering how much stuff I got in there, I don't think this is really, I don't think this is too bad. Alrighty. So, I just took out magazine images. These are stickers. Magazines. And they're these sticker type things that are fabric. And I use those for little places to turn the pages. Because I saw somebody else do it. Sure wasn't my idea. I just cut stuff out stamp the coffee dyed paper, just put Christmas festive looking blocks in there. These are cookies that are gloves. Did a little doodling. Some of the pages don't have enough on them for me, but you know, I'm gonna let it go. This is just leftover from something else, and it's cardboard. So I took the cardboard, folded it in half, and made a um, tab out of it. This is washi tape trees just surrounding a picture of gift bags. I think my sister-in-law made this for me with the, with the little snowmen. So I wanted to put it in there because I, I didn't want to lose it. I got the cutest gift from Shell C, and I she made this adorable gift bag. And I didn't the gift bag was too tall, so what I did was I cut the gift bag in half and glued the gift bag in here. This I think was the top of the gift bag. I can't let's see where's the other part of it. Here's the other part. Maybe this was the top. I don't remember which part was the top. I glued it all together so you can't get it out. Alright, so it used to open, <laughs> fold out. And then I glued some images of packages like they were coming out of the bag. I made a tag out of some stamp that I had. But I wanted to preserve the bag. 
that she sent because it was such a cool looking bag. Um, this was something that I drew either last year or year before last that was watercoloring on old business cards that I had. Again, just stamped little green stars in the background, and this is just more miscellaneous cardstock. All of this is, or comes from magazines. This um, did not come from a magazine. These are, I can't remember where I got these, these, Santa, uh, these um, snowman images. But I found a magazine that had different kinds of uh, snowflakes, put those on there. And again, found some cardstock. Or no, actually I stamped this on a strip of um, excess white cardstock and then made it into a tab. This was a Christmas card from Shell C. This is the other part of the bag from Shell C. And she had a tag that had my name in it. So I made sure that the tag stayed with the bag. They're very Christmassy. They're lovely. This is a Christmas card. Uh, anybody sent me a Christmas card? I cut the card apart and mailed the most important elements in the book. So this is from my friend Geraldine. Then I had um, washi tape with trees on it. And I took washi tape and just put it in the background, kind of like the shape of a tree. And then I had a giant tree sticker that had little ornament stickers that you could put on the tree. And that's what this is. It's just sticker and washi. These were all the Christmas stamps that came off the envelopes for my Christmas cards this year. I made sure that every stamp that had that was Christmas related made it into the book. This is a stamp I carved one year for December Carve or Carve December. And I stamped him in red. And this is a uh, Christmas-related car stock in the background. This is some of that material strip that I used on the front of the book here. I used it for a tab. This is a Christmas card from my friend Gina and her husband. This is a Christmas card from my friend Barb from Massachusetts. And there's a story about this I'll tell you when I get to the back of the book. So what I did was is I cut out parts that I, I liked about the card. And if I could cut out the inside, I would. And I tried to cut off everyone's signature that where they sign their cards. I tried to put their signature in the card, in the uh, on the page. This one's just Let It Snow. These are old light bulbs I had left over from a project that I've done like two or three years now. I stamped like a bazillion of these. i got to use these things up. This was an empty page. This is a tuck spot. And I did have something else in there, but I need to put some, some other kind of thing in there. I'll get to it eventually. Again, just magazine images. Um, these were stickers. I painted the tree on there and then doodled down on top of the other stuff. This was supposed to be a fireplace only. I thought, you know, if I put a fire, people are going to say, your stockings are going to catch on fire. So I left it empty. But this was supposed to represent a fireplace, the hearth, and the stockings hanging. Merry Christmas, a little miniature tree, a present, and a candle. This is not quite finished, and I'm just going to let it go. This was a paper doll that somebody sent to me. I know who she is, and she knows who she is. This is um, a Christmas card from my, my, some of my oldest friends. And I don't mean that like they're old people, although we're all kind of the same age, so we are. Anyway, so um, I've known these two people since I was in the, let me see, either the 10th or the 11th grade when I lived in Lubbock, Texas. And that's a Christmas card from them. Okay, so there were people who sent out family photo Christmas cards, you know, and they're really long and they don't fit in here, let alone on a page. So I cut their families apart. <laughs> this is a picture of my cousin and all her family and I cut the son-in-laws off. <laughs> so there's her two grandkids. So what I did was I cut the son-in-laws off and I put them on the other page because <laughs> I had nowhere else to put them. This was the uh, the back. This was the back side of this card. I just took it and glued one. Did I glue it? 
yeah, I glued it onto here and used washi tape, and I did glue that. And I glued the, glued the son-in-laws on, took my cousin and her husband, and then made them a pocket on this page so I could slip the pic. I didn't want to throw any of the pictures away. I love these people. And this is this is a Christmas card from my friend from Memphis. Well, they don't live in Memphis, but the Memphis area. And um, this is from Todd and Tanya and their family. So I took her Christmas card and just made it a pocket. So I tried, you know, there's pictures of the grandbaby on back, but I tried to get, you know, most of the family photos this way. So I poked a hole in them and, and tied ribbon on them. And so now the whole family is in the pocket. And then when I want to look at them, all I have to do is pull out the little tags. And there's their name and their little stuff from the, the card. Then I water painted some stuff, cut them out and glued them on there. This is more magazine stuff. I had a bunch of stamped green Christmas trees and decided to use it. And this is the poem, or well, actually, it's it's Luke 2, 19 through 14, announcing the, the birth of baby Jesus. And it's in the form of a tree. So I wanted the background to be stamped trees. This is a Christmas card from my friends and my, my dear, dear fr new friend, Veronica, who I've known for many years, but I've just never met her. I know that sounds weird, huh? She's a friend of a friend. So there's their family photo. And of course, like I said, they don't all, it, I couldn't get the whole family on the spread. So I cut the bottom part of the card off, cut the, the words and all their love, the Millers. And, this, and then put this here like this so that I can unfold them. That's just a magazine picture. This is the one where I had to do a ton of finagling. All right, so... This is a Christmas card from my friends, again, from the Memphis area, Laura and her husband and her son. And I've known Laura since I was a brand new personal chef back in 1990. I think we kind of met online in 97, but we actually met in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in 1998 at a conference. And we've been friends ever since. So she had one of those photo things and the photo card was too long. So what I did was I cut her and her husband off of the card and got their photos in here. This is a magazine picture. I made a flip because um, this is their son, but I wanted to make sure I got the whole family in there. So I just took increased part of the card to make sure I had all three of them together here. And then there's pictures of their son right here. And then I just Kind of wind it back on the, uh, wind it back on here, shut, so it stays shut, but you can open it this way and see see them, and then close it, and you can open that up. Magazine pictures with stamping. This is a Christmas card from my dearest and one of my oldest friends, Audrey, and her dog, Libby, that I adore. She's such a sweet puppy. Oh, yeah, and I like Audrey, too. <laughs> this is just a bo um, pictures of boxes of Christmas gifts. I had lots of pictures of Santas, of antique and old Santas, and so I just put those on there. I had lots of uh, photos of wreaths, so I thought I would put wreaths on here. So there's four wreaths on this picture, on this page. Then I had all these little Christmas trees that came in a set oh no I, this was scrapbook paper and I cut all these guys out I don't know four or five Christmases ago and I just let them pile up and I never used them but today or well in December I decided to put them together so I just made night a nighttime a starry night and all the Christmas trees together this is just a advent calendar with lots of magazine cutouts and my friend Barb sent me a Christmas card to our old address and I and after she I got her card I sent her mine with our new address so then she sent me another card with our new address so this is what she sent me so I took the words out of the card out of here and she has two cards in here this is from my friends Audrey's one of her twin daughters I was there the day they were born I won't say how old they are but 
I know. <laughs> so here's a card from their family. And again, with the photo cards, I didn't know what to do with them. So here's the front of the card she sent, and there's their signature. And then I put the family photo with their new puppy, Tyson, on the back. This is a card from... Ooh, who does this card from? <gasps> you know what? I can't read the handwriting. Oh, I hope I have it somewhere else. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you who this is from. It was somebody I sent a Christmas ornament to, and they signed their name. Oh my gosh, that's bad. I can't read the handwriting. And then here's a Christmas card from my cousins that live in Lubbock. Here's a Christmas card from my friend Lisa who lives in California. Here's a Christmas card from Leslie who lives in Indiana. And this is just an old Christmas card that I had that I messed up the envelope. So you know how you have too many cards, not enough envelopes, or not enough envelopes to put it in here. Pictures of Santa Claus, just magazines. More magazine clippings. And this is a little Christmas gnome I made. And I stamped him, I carved him, and I stamped him. And inside Barb's second card that she sent me was this, were the words to Silent Night. So I made it into a bookmark. And then I ended up gluing it in here instead of letting it fly around. So there's the other part of her second card that she sent me. And then this is from a magazine. So there is my Christmas junk journal. I don't know if you call it junk or not. It, I, I use no junk mail in it. These were all lovely Christmas cards that I got from my friends and family. And I adored them. I'm, I'm so happy that I got so many lovely Christmas cards. Uh, and so maybe next year I'll do this again because it was a lot of fun. All right, everyone. That's it for a little bit. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.